Hello again and welcome back to Oklahoma Life TV. I'm Danny Carson and not only do we like to tell the stories about the places and the things of Oklahoma, but we want you to know about the people too. Here's a very special person and very talented from right here in Lawn, Oklahoma. I've been playing soccer ever since uh, since I was five years old here and progressed on to what I am today and never made a single regret ever since and there's been a lot of trials and tribulations but you have but you have to overcome a lot of things in order to get to where you want to be. Well, I came from a German mom, my American dad, and my uncles played professional soccer in Europe, throughout France, Germany, the Netherlands, and wherever they went to. I played J JV on my senior year, so it took a lot of practice, a lot of getting together. Didn't play much in my senior year, uh, didn't start much in my senior year. I played a little bit, but didn't start, didn't, wasn't at the level where I wanted to be. Then after college come, came and didn't get any uh, people looking after me and so I just decided to train on my own and there was a time where I did want to go to a college that had a soccer team but I, I, I uh, accepted their offer then turned it down a month later because it just didn't feel right to me. And then I went to Gallaudet University, it was going to be my first college soccer season and then another over another fence became in front of me was the university decided to get rid of the boys' soccer program for two years to save money. And then I decided to transfer to a college in Massachusetts and had to go overcome another hurdle, which is uh, my mental illness. Is I was going through depression and suicidal thoughts at the time, and it prevented me from not only playing, but it made me come back home. Soccer's always kept my mind off of things and, hap and gave me the happiness I needed. Uh, it never really bothered me with my condition. Of course, when I'm playing, I can barely hear my teammates, so that's something my teammates have to adapt to and I have to adapt to. I was born that way. It mostly came from my dad returning from the Middle East in the, during the desert storm. And I was one of thousands of kids that became born of deformity right after a war. And it's a similar, similar, we have similar deformity of similar conditions, which is called microasia and golden heart syndrome. That's when a part of your jaw, face, uh, eardrums, the head becomes undeveloped and it can ruin your hearing, your vision, uh, the way you speak, which is me with a lisp in my hearing. And that became the way that I accept who I am that kind of helped me push away from depression because that put me in a way where I could like, this is who I am and can't really change that and so I'm going to move on and do what I want to do. You can't have the mindset of being negative about it. You have to be positive about it. The world is endless opportunities, you just got to find them. Thank you to Morrison Lawn Care for not only sponsoring this feature but also telling us about Patrick Shea's story. Congratulations and good luck at the World Cup next year, Patrick from Oklahoma Life TV.